Welcome to the Hire Yourself Podcast. My name is Pete Gilfill, and I'm here with my business partner, Nat Truitt. We're all about helping people become entrepreneurs or better business people. Good morning, Nat. Good morning, Pete. How are you doing today? Oh, man. I, I got to tell you, I, I am sore. I, I, uh, what happened? I'm sore. Um, well, I, I got to tell you, I, I tried a new type of workout, right? And um, I, I figured it out. I've hacked working out. You know, you know I'm not very good discipline about working out and <laughs> I don't like spending hours and hours in the gym. Obviously you can tell that from my body, right? But right. I figured out how you can, you can make working out. It's hard, but I hacked it. So you can do it in 20 minutes and you get everything you need. Is that, is that sound like awesome? It sounds too good to be true. I, I hope to become a superhero. So, <laughs> um, so I had this experience um, from a standpoint, I decided that I, I was going to go check this thing out. Right. So I, I tell Shannon, that uh, we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna go try this right, and she's like, "You've been watching too many infomercials, man. You you're you're <laughs> crazy, right? You, no way, right?" So I said, "Okay, wait a minute here. You, you got to just come with me. Just try it, right?" So so we go to this uh, franchise concept called Body Twenty, Body okay. Twenty, right? And and basically, it's designed to uh, superhumanize you, meaning they leverage technology to, to do the workout, right? So, so we go do this workout and we'll, we'll bring on the founder here in just a minute. And, and basically I, I, we both do this workout and she was dead against us. No way it's going to work. By the time we're done, she's like, holy cow, that is unbelievable. I could do this on a regular basis. Maybe we should own one of these franchises. I mean, it, she went from <laughs> you're crazy to this is amazing. So now what I want to do today is we're going to interview the founder, uh, the president of Body20. You good with that? Awesome. Let's do it. All right. Chris, are you there? Chris Pena, are you there? I'm here. I'm oh. here. Happy to be here. Awesome. Thank you. Chris Pena, again, founder and president of Body20. So it is always a delight to see you. Um, I was telling Nat about my experience uh, with Body20, and it's just, it's unbelievable. So um, I thought we'd spend some time just teaching everybody about Body20 and the cool things you're doing. Does that sound like a plan? That sounds awesome. Thank you. All right. So Body20 is relatively new uh, from that standpoint. So let's let's start with this. Um, how, how did you become the founder? Uh, how, how did you find this Body20 uh, franchise concept? Well, uh, I think if, it depends who you ask, right? If you ask my fiance, she's going to tell you she's the founder. <laughs> I'm going to tell well, you we, she's the founder. <laughs> we know you're a smart man now. All right. Very good. <laughs> no, uh, we, we moved to Florida about five, six years ago and, and Kenzie didn't want to be a teacher anymore. And she was super into fitness and we started looking at franchise concepts and honestly just couldn't, I used to own a, a couple of gyms in Colorado and I just, I couldn't wrap my head around, you know, they all serve the same customer, like same thing, different color. Right. Yeah. And so we heard about this technology out of Europe and, and, you know, sounded too, too good to be true. I did some research and we flew somebody over, she tried it. And I watched a girl who had, I was training four hours a day. She was competing in NPC shows. And the girl was just tough. I mean, you could put her through it and she didn't care, you know, hour card in the morning, hour card in the afternoon, two hours in the middle of the day. And uh, 12 minutes in, she's on the ground, just destroyed. And I was like, okay, there's something here, <laughs> you know? All right. So, so, so you found it uh, from that standpoint and you've kind of been, I know you spent a lot of time during the pandemic kind of building out the model, right? Getting this thing right mm -hmm. so that you could, you know, go prime time with the franchise. So let's start um with with the technology because that's the foundation of body 20 of is leveraging technology to enhance the workout or to go beyond what you could normally do without technology with the workout is that fair absolutely all right so tell me about this technology so very simply put when when you move at all your, your brain sends something called an action potential to, to the muscles to tell it to move right it's measured in hertz so you know, 200 years ago, a, a French scientist touched an electric current to a frog's leg and it moved. And he said, wow, this, you know, electricity makes your muscles move. And so it's been refined over time, you know, in the US for the past 70 years, it's been used in physical therapy, TENS units, you know, electromuscular stimulation to get that muscle moving again. Yeah. We just found a way to do it in a whole body setting where we can actually use it for hypertrophy, for fat loss, for strengthening and toning that muscle. Holy cow. So, all right. So let's, let's go through this here. So I, I show up to a body, and I'll, I'll tell my experience here in just a bit, but so I show up to a body 20, what is the experience like? So I walk in the door, what happens when I show up at a body 20? 
I think the most important thing is when you walk in the door, it should be the most positive experience you've had all day, right? I mean, fitness is a place where people go to, it doesn't matter what type of fitness, it's a place where people go to, to get past all the bad stuff from the day, the boss yelling at them, the wife and them fighting and all that stuff. So first things first, you get that. Now, second thing is our core competency is time, right? We want to save you time. So we, we get our trainers down to two and a half minute time to get you set up in the suit and in the room. You train for 20 minutes and two and a half minutes till you can leave. All right, let's take a backup. All right, so the suit. Let's talk. Let's talk about the suit. So I walk in. First, I think you you sit down and you say, well, "What do you want to accomplish?" Right. When I walked in, they said, hey, it, you oh, know, sure. "It was very obvious with me." Right. They're like, "Man, you got to lose some weight." But that's a whole other story, right? That the darn BMI. I don't really like that much. But anyway, the scale was broken that day. The scale was broken. <laughs> oh, if I only wish. All right. So let's talk about strapping the suit on because it, it's a really cool suit. So let's talk about that real quick. So it has, uh, it has one, two, three, 12, 13, 14, 18 electrodes throughout the suit between a shorts vest and, a, and some straps that go on your arms. Yep. It hits every major muscle group in your body, essentially sends the exact same signal that your brain sends to your muscles to tell them to move. We just do it artificially, which means I get to take your brain, your motivation, your skill level, all of that out of working out. Wow. That's cool. So, so it looks like a, almost like a diving vest, right? You know, where they hold the weights and the stuff like that. So it's all black and it, it, it they strap you in. Right. And, and it took, it took about five minutes to strap me in uh, from that standpoint and it, it, it's on you tight. All right. So you get this suit on, it's, it's really cool uh, from a standpoint. And then you walk into the room and you, it's a one-on-one session. So I got a trainer and they hook this suit up into this. What is the machine called that they hook it into? So our machine is called an X body new wave. X body new wave. Okay. So X body new wave, they, they do that. And then they basically took me through, I, I only made it 10 minutes. I, I <laughs> but anyways, they took me through a workout in the best I could tell is a part of it. Uh, in at least this demo session was cardio and resistance. We had, I think we did resistance first and we did cardio. So the, uh, what they did with me, the trainer, uh, was okay. It was looked like I was doing, um, um, curls, right? But I didn't have any weights in my arm. And he'd say, okay, now I want you to start doing curls. And then he would turn on the electric current. And it was like, holy cow, it was, it was unbelievable. Right. And then we would take eight seconds off and then eight seconds again. And so we did the resistance and then we did the cardio. And by like 10 minutes, I'm, I'm on the ground, I'm, I'm soaking wet, all this kind of stuff. It, it was incredible. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, what we're doing is we're having you fight your own muscle groups, right? So we're putting an isometric hold on your muscle and you're taking a concentric movement to fight that resistance. So let's say you can curl 50 pounds in the gym, right? Most of you don't realize that you're only using about 30% of your muscle fiber. So really, if you were in a fight or flight type situation and you had adrenaline going, you can curl a lot more than 50 pounds, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to be able to pick up a car, right? Right. That's you hear grandma picks up the car to see the granddaughter all the time. Well, your body protects itself from using 100% of your muscle fiber because it doesn't want you to tear tendons, ligaments, destroy your joints, right? You're stronger yeah. than you think. With EMS, because there's no weight on that lever, there's no, no resistance on that, yeah. on that elbow, on that joint, on that ligament, we can contract your muscle up to 100% and then have you fight it. So we get way more results, way faster, and a lot more contractions. Yeah, I know. I was I was doing the plank, and about killed me because I, I could do planks, uh, <laughs> you know, for it's like tough. two and two and a half minutes. I'm doing this plank. I'm like, holy cow, right? So <laughs> so you know, when we talk about this idea that you can really, uh, I guess, uh, override your brain, right, and you can have this incredible workout, right? So 20 minutes they say is worth like two hours or something in the gym, which is crazy. So with all of us only having 167 hours in the day, or excuse me, the week, you know, that, that, that's a huge advantage to be able to come in, do the workout 20 minutes, get the same benefits uh, that you would get uh, as being in the gym for two hours. Exactly. I mean, uh, so, so there's a little bit of science to that. If you go to the gym and you do, you do uh, 10 sets, or I'm sorry, 10, uh, 10 reps of 20 sets, right? Uh, which is what the average American does when he goes to the gym. It takes an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes, but you work one muscle group. Uh, a, a full contraction is about three seconds naturally. So if you extrapolate the math, it's about 10 minutes of working out. We give you that in the 20 minutes, as you saw, eight seconds on, eight seconds off for a full 20 minutes. Uh, the difference is we train every major muscle group at the same time. So, you know, equivalent to anywhere from four to six hours in the gym. Oh, holy cow. It's just absolutely amazing. So it sounds too good to be true. I mean, and, and be truth be known, I probably flunked my session and the trainer's like, we, you know, uh, we've never seen anybody <laughs> flunk, you've flunked it. But, but anyway, so tell, tell me about some of the success stories or the health benefits people see by utilizing the body 20th workout. Yeah. So I think as a proof point, because it is kind of that, that 
magic pill esque thing. We actually you, you stepped on an in body when you first walked in the door. Uh, the in body is bioimpedance analysis uh, body scan. It's it's kind of the gold standard next to a DEXA, which you can only do twice a year because of radiation. Uh, and we do that once a week with our clients so they can truly see the difference. And then we can benchmark that and show everybody else. But I mean, you know, some of the benefits that go way beyond like health and fitness, which are what really matter to me and Kenzie, uh, is, you know, we're, we're, we're able to reawake muscles that just have been asleep forever. We're able to solve injuries that most people can't solve. So for instance, I had a client who was 93 years old, sharp as a needle. I mean, she's just cognitively there. She was witty. Yeah. She was funny. She's one of my favorite people. And, uh, she came in and, you know, I don't know if you know this, but most trainers can't train somebody who's over 65. It's just outside of their insurance scope. Yeah, And sure. so she comes in and she's walking on a walker. She hasn't been able to drive herself in 15 years just because she's just not, you know, her body's kind of lost connection and, and she's yeah. atrophied over time. And she trains with us for three months. No, no more walker. She's able to kind of drive herself around again because we widen the neural pathway. She control her muscles again. And uh, she only walked with a walker because her back had atrophied. So it hurt to walk without it. And one of the craziest things is she came to us and she was kind of bashful and she just pulled me and Kenzie aside and she's like, I actually regained bladder control, right? Like <laughs> your bladder is wow. controlled by these tiny little muscles in your abdomen that are impossible to work and EMS gets into those deep muscles. So everything from that, uh, you know, I've had one of our franchisees, Zach, when he first came on, he came on as a trainer in our first unit, the one me and Kenzie opened and he was very, very skeptical. He's a runner. And he shaved off like a minute of his mile by doing nothing but our cardio setting once a week for six weeks. You know, it's just, it's, it was crazy. Wow. That is amazing. Uh, well, I, I got to get after it. So uh, I, I need <laughs> one here uh, where I live. Cause I just, it's absolutely amazing. So, so you guys are relatively new. I know you spent a lot of time building the infrastructure, the, the systems that you guys have uh, unbelievable. Right. So, so um from the standpoint of the franchises, how many franchisees do you have now? So franchisees, we have uh, 34 actually. Um, okay. Open, we have 14 right now. Okay, 14 open, right? So you got some under development. And I've heard some great things about how you guys get franchisees launched, uh, uh, like a pre-sale program or something. What do you guys do to kind of give those franchisees a, a really fast start? So we have a dedicated 12-week program before you open your doors, uh, really meant to educate the market and engage the market, that fitness community in your, in your area. I mean, um, you know, if you look at our item 19, our studios are opening, you know, 47, $48,000 day one, you know, look at our expenses. They're going to be kind of in that low thirties to mid thirties range. So they're opening profitable from day one. Me and Greg, when we first really sat down and looked at what do we need to do? We said, you know, I think out of being a little naive, we, <laughs> we talked to a, uh, uh, a couple of Orange Theory franchisees, and they were like, yeah, we make 40% returns, and we open profitable day one. And we were like, man, if we can't do that, we can't compete. So we yeah. went out and found the best possible person we could find in the industry. Yeah. His name is Matt Maddox. He's a monster. <laughs> yeah. We brought him in and said, you know, until you tell us you're going to open profitable, we're not going to sell another franchise. Yeah. And we got to work, and now they open profitable. So. Oh, that is awesome. All right. So let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about, as you're looking to find more franchisees, Sure. What are the characteristics you're looking for in future franchisees for Body20? So I think you always look for a little bit of sales ability um, in every brand, but I think what we really look for is our goal is 500 units with less than 100 franchises, right? Um, and then 1,000 with less than 200. So we really want to have that multi-unit operator. And for us, that you know, we've built in a ton of automation and systems and tools, but the one thing we can't replace is the ability to manage people the ability to build a team, the ability to understand that you don't have to do everything every day. You got to teach your team to do it. So that's really what we're looking for. Somebody with a little bit of management experience. All right. So, so number one is I got to be able to be in front of the community, telling them about my business, right? I, I don't necessarily sure. have to be the trainer, but I, so I got to have a little bit of the sales. When we say sales, it's about representing or being the face of your, your business. Right. And then number exactly. two, it's about managing and leading because you're looking for franchisees that want to build bigger businesses. Right. So you're not interested in somebody that wants to be behind the counter and training people. You want somebody that's building a larger business so they can impact or, or help more people in the community. Is that fair? Um, absolutely. absolutely. All right. Very good. What advice would you give somebody that is looking to become an entrepreneur through a franchise business? I would say find something that you can actually stand behind, right? So one of the things we do is you're, you're just not allowed to be a franchisee unless you do the workout first. And if you don't like it, I don't want you to be there, right? You got to believe in what you're doing or you're just not going to sell it. What, what if you fail the workout? 
That's then okay. are you Do automatically like disqualified? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. I just failed it, right? <laughs> Sorry, oh, sir, you you're doing that story. all wrong. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> your story gets to be I failed it the first time. Now look at me six months later. That's why I do my uh, buddy. You know? uh, all right, fair <laughs> enough. All right, so one, it's they, they've got to be passionate about what the business does. What else? Uh, I think, you know, the best piece of advice I got early on um, was from a gentleman named Mike Shields, who's just crazy entrepreneur. He owns some, you know, tons of different businesses. He's on a bunch of different boards. And he just looked at me one day when I was talking about business advice and said, well, it's all on you. So every excuse is on you. Every problem is on you. I don't care what you do. I don't care who your teammate is that you hire to do that. It's on you. And so yeah. if you can't figure it out, don't expect your team to, you know, yeah. and core value number two is high performance at body 20, because we believe that that that's a cornerstone to success. Yeah. So you're looking for entrepreneurs that are problem solvers, right? I mean, to be an entrepreneur by the nature of it, you have to be a problem solver. So it's not anybody else's fault. You figure out what you got to do. And we really learned exactly. this in, in, in COVID-19, right? You, that mm -hmm. separated the people that, hey, listen, we got this pandemic. I can either fold up and, you know, not, not do anything or I can just go figure it out. And uh, I think that's it. It's taking the emotion out of it. You know, for COVID for us, we looked at it and we said, you know, we took about two days to figure out how to help the franchisees financially negotiate with their landlords, do all these things. And then we sat back and we said, what are we going to do? <laughs> and we said, yeah. well, let's double down. Let's make it better. You know, we have now a bunch of time to solve, you know, finish the projects that are at the 90% line, the 80% line, and just, you know, throughout the normal course of business, you don't get them across the finish line. Okay. And then secondly, what are the core, what are the things we can differentiate ourselves with during COVID, like one-on-one -on -one training? Yeah. You know, can we get variances from different city officials to let us open, even though nobody else can, because they're really worried about the group classes. And, and, you know, I think because of that, we did incredible. If you look at our my team, we, you know, doubled our business in that time frame. How many, quick question, how many people typically are working out at the same time? This... Uh, so in our, in our version one units, you have two people working out at the same time. In our version two units, you have four people. Okay. That's great. Yeah, it's it, it's really cool, right? Uh, from a standpoint, just high energy, very positive uh, from a standpoint for sure. Um, okay, so so from a standpoint, is people have to be if they're looking to become a uh, a entrepreneur through a franchise, you got to be a problem solver, you got to be the face, you got to be able to lead people uh, from that standpoint. Um, any other things you think about characteristics of what people need to have to become entrepreneurs? I think honestly, a good understanding right? Uh, a good understanding of what a franchise is in the first place, if you want to go that route, right? A franchise is not fundamentally, I'm going to come in, I'm going to figure everything out, I'm going to do all those things. It's, I'm going to get a map, and I'm going to be given a car, right? Like, I got to drive the car to the destination. So if you get off course, you got to get back on course. And your franchise there is, a, is there to help you. But what they're not there to do is drive the car, right? And so I think, you know, if you can take that understanding, and you can follow the, the route, you're going to do just fine. But you just got to, you got to do those two things. Yeah, no, I think that's right. And I think there are really smart people that invest in great franchise systems like Body 20, but they don't follow the system. And if you don't follow the system, <laughs> right? And, and I had a guy that ran a division of a company, right? And he, he invested in a window washing franchise, right? And he started out and he, and he sucked. He, he did terrible, right? The franchisor calls him, what are you doing? He goes, hey, listen, I know business. I ran a division of a company. And they go, yeah, we, we know that. Just follow the system, right? The guy starts <laughs> following the system and all of a sudden now he's one of the top franchisees, right? So it can be the best system in the world, but if you don't follow it, it doesn't do you any good. All right. Absolutely. I always like to find out, you know, as we go through life, we get advice from people. What is the best piece of advice somebody's given you in your life? So I think I'm going to go back to what I said a little bit earlier and just understanding that everything's kind of on me, you know, whether it's in, in your personal life, in your business life, at the end of the day, you have a choice. You have a choice, a choice to kind of sit back and say, woe is me, this bad thing happened. Or you can say, okay, I'm going to take five minutes of my day today. I never let anything affect me for more than five minutes. It's kind of just a rule I have. Take five minutes of my day to feel bad for myself or be pissed off or whatever the case is. And I'm just going to fix it. I'm going to, it either matters enough that it's going to be detrimental and I got to fix it, or it doesn't matter enough. I'm just going to move on with life and, and go focus on what I'm good at. No, and I think that's right. Cause you can get in a hole and you just get mm -hmm. in an endless loop. Right. Um, I think about when I wrestled in high school and, and I was terrible at wrestling, right. Just terrible at wrestling. But, <laughs> but when you're out on that mat and I know uh, Nat's son uh, wrestles, right. Is that when you're on that mat, it's hundred percent accountability. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that you, you can't blame it on anybody else. If that but if the person across from you kicks your butt, that is that is all on you on how much you trained, how much your skills were, stuff like that. That's not any different in business. I, I agree 100 percent. All right. 
like to always ask, because we're always looking for great books. What is your favorite book? So I think if it's going to be my favorite book in general, it's Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. I don't know if you've ever read the book. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The reason why is it just, it makes you realize <laughs> everything he went through. You know, if you got, if you're going to complain, you've got a problem. You know? yeah. That man went through so much and just endured it and just pushed forward. It just, it's the most inspira- inspirational book to me. You know, God, does he have a threshold for pain? I listened to him speak. Uh, just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Right. And he's, he's just so powerful to... when he speaks, you know, yeah. it's great. Yeah. But he, he's kind of a shy guy, right? I mean, just, uh, you know, he, he's kind of comes across as kind of that, uh, you know, demeanor is just, but when he speaks and he tells a story and you're mm-hmm. like, holy cow, how, how could anybody go through that? How could you got That's out a 110 crazy. mile race without training, right? So, so you've got your toes are bleeding and you're <laughs> just this crazy like story and you just won't quit, you know, you just uh, won't quit. So yeah, well, we it's, all it's could, I think, use a little bit of that. Well, Chris, we're, we're really excited to see where body 20 goes. I, I can't wait to become a member and, uh, you know, I want to take my 12 pack and make it into a six pack, uh, from that standpoint. So <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to having the benefits of it. Uh, Nat, you're going to have to come try it with me. I'm just telling you, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Hook me up to some electric. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> all well, right. Love to have you guys. All right, Chris. Well, congratulations on on every all the great things you're doing for everybody. And uh, we look forward to our next conversation with you. Thanks, guys, for having me on.